Hey guys, uh, it's Brandon. Welcome to day 23 of the quarantine quiet time. And today we're in Matthew 7, verses 7 through 11. So let's jump right in. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, it will be open. Or which one of you, if his son asks him for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a serpent? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? Now, can you guys think of a time where you've had to persist at something? I think maybe it could have been you had to work real hard for a grade in a class. You had, or maybe there was a relationship that just needed some time and effort to kind of, you know, navigate some 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 tension. Or maybe it was you really wanted that part in the, the play at school. Um, for me, it was, I uh, played baseball in high school, and I, I had to train persistently to earn a spot on the team. Uh, I think it's very rare in life for something to just land in our laps, um, especially without showing any interest in it. And so I think this is what, what, where God is saying, like, we need to ask, we need to, we need to seek, and we need to knock. And my study Bible here, I think, breaks that down really well. Um, it says, ask, disciples should come to God in humility and awareness of need. Okay, so... We need to come to God, just humble, knowing what it is we need, and just ask for it. Um, I think the key word there is is, is humbly. Um, I think so often we can come to God with uh, the wrong mo motives. Like we might be asking for the wrong reason, the wrong thing for the wrong reason. Um, and it says to seek. Uh, connect one's prayer with responsible action in pursuing the will of God so you know when we come to him we're we're, we're looking to you know we're seeking we're looking to connect with him and we're, we're trying to live out the will he has for us um, and then the knocking suggests perseverance I think uh, you know it says, disciples are to persist in prayer, confident that their Father will provide whatever is best for them according to His sovereign, gracious will. I think that knock, that persistency asked for, is just us letting Him know how much we want it. Um, you know, it's sometimes with people, we, 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 we tell them we want something, but we don't show them. And so I think this persistent knock is just letting Him know, God, like, I really want this, and I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm asking, I'm asking wholeheartedly, and we're showing up, and we're, we're, we're coming back again and again and again. Um, so, ask, seek, and knock. And at, in verse 11, where it says, If you then, who are evil, know how to give, give good gifts to your children. The evil is really just pointing at the fact that we're flawed people and it's talking about parents and you know you might love your parents I love mine and you might feel like they are the best parents ever and I'm sure they're great ones but what this is saying is regardless of how great they are and how much they love you and want to just shower you in gifts God can do so much more because he's the ultimate parent he's the ultimate father so Again, guys, let's ask, seek, and knock. Uh, yeah. Have a great day.